Welcome to our stock market briefing program. Today, we're diving into some exciting developments in the financial world. First up, Volkswagen is making waves by investing up to $5 billion in Rivian, a Tesla rival in the electric vehicle market. This strategic move aims to boost technology sharing and solidify their presence in the rapidly growing EV sector. Rivian's shares skyrocketed by 50% following the announcement, showing just how much investors believe in this partnership's potential. Stay tuned as we explore what this means for both companies and the broader market. Next, we have a fascinating story from Japan where tradition meets modern naval life. The Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force continues to serve curry every Friday, a practice dating back to the 19th century. Originally introduced by Anglo-Indian officers to combat nutritional deficiencies, this hearty meal has become a beloved staple among sailors. We'll delve into how this culinary tradition is now being used to attract new recruits to the shrinking Japanese Navy. Finally, let's talk about the stock market's latest roller coaster. The Nasdaq Composite saw a significant rebound, closing up by 1.3% thanks to a nearly 7% surge in Nvidia shares. This comes after a three day losing streak, with Nvidia's performance playing a crucial role in lifting the tech heavy index. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones didn't share in the gains, slipping by 300 points. We'll break down the factors behind these movements and what they signal for the future. Please stay tuned for more details. Reuters breaking views, after decades of deflation, Japan now faces rising prices that threaten to erode the nation's savings. The urgent task for officials is to turn citizens into investors, presenting a $37 billion revenue opportunity. While megabanks and firms like Nomura are poised to benefit, younger upstarts are also vying for a piece of the action. Household savings in Japan amount to 2,115 trillion yen, $13.2 trillion, but over half is held as cash and deposits unlike the US and Euro area where the ratios are significantly lower. Investment activity is on the rise, with accounts under the tax-free NISA scheme increasing to 23 million by March 2023. Established financial firms like Nomura and Daiwa Securities are rebranding and upgrading services to attract wealthier clients, while megabanks like Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group are investing in robo-advisor platforms. The financial regulator is pushing for banks and insurers to work with emerging asset managers, signaling a shift towards a more vibrant asset management industry in Japan. BBC, Volkswagen, VW, has announced plans to invest up to $5 billion in Rivian, a US electric vehicle, EV, maker, creating a joint venture that will allow both companies to share technology. This strategic move comes as competition among EV makers intensifies amid slowing sales and increasing market entrants. Initially, VW will invest $1 billion in Rivian, with an additional $4 billion to follow in the coming years. Rivian, founded in 2009, has yet to post a quarterly profit, having lost $1.5 billion in the first three months of 2024. VW faces pressure from rivals like Tesla and China's BYD as it seeks to expand its share of the EV market. The announcement led to a significant 50% jump in Rivian's shares, highlighting the market's positive reception to the partnership. Nikkei Asia, at Kure, a Pacific-facing naval base in Hiroshima Prefecture, the scent of curry wafts through the air, a testament to the enduring tradition of serving the dish to Japanese maritime self-defense force crews. Introduced in the 19th century by Anglo-Indian officers in Britain's Royal Navy, curry became a staple to combat nutritional deficiencies like beriberi. The tradition continues, with Fridays dedicated to curry meals. Kure's naval history is rich, from its post-World War II ruins described in Shirley Hazard's The Great Fire, to its modern, bustling port filled with deployable vessels. The town has also embraced naval-themed tourism, with attractions like the Yamato Museum and recruitment campaigns featuring manga and anime imagery. However, Japan's navy faces a recruitment challenge, exacerbated by fears of combat and constitutional debates. The West Japan railway train approaching Kure plays the theme song from Space Battleship Yamato, blending patriotism with popular culture in a bid to attract new recruits. The campaign aims to reassure the public of the armed forces' capabilities, but more than curry and cultural imagery will be needed to bolster recruitment numbers. Yahoo US Fractional reserve banking is a banking system where banks are required to keep a portion of their customers' deposits on reserve preventing them from lending or investing the full amount. Traditionally, this reserve requirement in the U.S. ranged from 0% to 10%, but in 2020, the Federal Reserve reduced it to 0%, eliminating the mandatory cash reserve. Despite this change, banks continued to hold ample reserves, a practice they adopted post-2008 financial crisis. 
Banks use excess deposits for revenue-generating activities like granting loans, investing in securities, and financing industries. This system has both pros and cons, it provides liquidity and promotes economic growth but can also lead to instability and higher interest rates on loans. The elimination of the reserve requirement did not significantly benefit consumers, and debates continue on whether fractional reserve banking is the optimal system compared to alternatives like 100% reserve banking. Nikkei Asia, Southeast Asian Airlines, including Thai Airways, Philippine Airlines, and Garuda Indonesia, are investing heavily in fleet expansion to capitalize on the resurgence in travel demand post-pandemic. Thai Airways, which is on track to complete its restructuring by 2024, has ordered 45 new aircraft and plans to increase its fleet size significantly. The airline has implemented extensive cost-cutting measures, resulting in a net profit in 2023. The region's airlines, having received less government support than their Western counterparts, have had to undergo significant restructuring. The International Air Transport Association forecasts a 17% increase in passenger demand for the Asia-Pacific region in 2024, the highest globally. However, challenges such as a labor shortage, particularly pilots, and concerns over potential overinvestment remain. While some airlines like Singapore Airlines have thrived, others, like Vietnam Airlines, continue to struggle against low-cost competitors and rising operational costs. Nikkei Asia, Sumitomo Pharma is contemplating layoffs in Japan as it grapples with the loss of U.S. exclusivity rights for its schizophrenia drug, Latuda, which has significantly impacted its earnings. New President Toru Kimura announced that the company might implement these layoffs as early as this fiscal year, following substantial job cuts in the U.S. Kimura emphasized the urgency of recovering earnings and mentioned the possibility of offering early retirement to employees. The company reported a substantial net loss for fiscal 2023 and has been scaling back research and development efforts. Sumitomo Pharma is also considering selling assets, including overseas drug sales operations and rights to treatments that have lost patent protection, to streamline operations and return to profitability by fiscal 2025. Parent company Sumitomo Chemical is exploring partnerships to support drug development and financial stability. Yahoo US, the US stock market experienced a mixed close on Tuesday, with NVIDIA's NVDA nearly 7% surge fueling a rally in the tech-heavy Nasdaq composite, which ended the day up by about 1.3%. The S&P 500 also saw a modest rise of 0.4%, breaking a three-day losing streak. However, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell by 0.8%, losing around 300 points. This divergence came as investors took profits from AI-linked stocks questioning if recent losses would continue. Economic data showed home prices hitting a new record high in April, although annual growth slowed, and consumer confidence dipped slightly, with the index coming in at 100 for June, below May's 101.3. Nikkei Asia, Japan is pioneering the use of hydrogen as an energy source, accounting for 24% of global hydrogen-related patent applications between 2011 and 2020. The country's basic hydrogen strategy, first formulated in 2017, aims to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050 and includes plans to deploy 15 gigawatts of electrolyzers globally and increase domestic hydrogen usage to 12 million metric tons annually by 2040. Significant milestones include a 2 trillion yen green innovation fund, with 800 billion yen allocated for hydrogen technologies. Japan is also working on international hydrogen supply chains and has led global agreements on developing transparent markets and standards for hydrogen production. The Sydney Morning Herald, a rebound in Nvidia stock helped keep US indexes near record levels on Tuesday, with the S&P 500 rising 0.3% and the Nasdaq Composite jumping 1.1%. However, the Dow Jones lagged, falling 0.7%. Nvidia's 5.4% rise broke a three-day losing streak, driven by strong demand for its AI chips. Despite concerns about a potential market bubble, the focus is shifting from inflation to growth. The bond market saw steady treasury yields, with the 10-year yield edging up to 4.24%. Meanwhile, the Australian share market is set to drop, with futures indicating a 0.4% fall at the open. Yahoo US reports that Daytona Beach is set to welcome its first Sprouts Farmers Market, a high-end grocery store specializing in fresh, natural, and organic food. The store will be part of the shops at Williamson Crossing, with construction expected to start in December 2024 or January 2025. 
The new store will occupy a 23,240-square-foot space at 1591 North Williamson Boulevard and is part of a $20 million development project by NGI Investments. The project also includes a 15,000-square-foot multi-tenant retail building. Sprouts, which has 414 stores across 23 states, aims to offer a unique grocery experience with an open layout and a focus on wellness. The Daytona Beach location will be the first in Volusia County, marking a significant expansion for the chain. Reuters Breaking Views highlights GameStop's transformation into what resembles a poorly run bank, leveraging a $4 billion cash reserve accrued during the meme stock frenzy. Despite a declining core business, the company has managed to narrow operating losses partly due to interest earnings on its substantial cash hoard. GameStop's market value surged from $180 million in 2020 to around $8 billion, thanks to strategic equity offerings. However, the company's reliance on cash reserves and interest earnings to sustain operations raises questions about its long-term viability. Investors might be better off with traditional savings accounts, as GameStop's current strategy seems more focused on financial maneuvering than business innovation. Yahoo US also reports on the critical role of electronic warfare, EW, in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Both nations have heavily invested in EW capabilities to counter threats from drones and precision munitions. Mikhailo Fedorov, Ukraine's Minister of Digital Transformation, emphasized the need for close-range EW tools in every trench to protect frontline forces. Ukraine has been scaling domestic production of these systems, with 2,000 units purchased in the spring through the United24 initiative. The fast-paced technological war has led to rapid development and adaptation of EW systems. The U.S. is closely monitoring these advancements, with the Pentagon studying the conflict to draw lessons for future engagements against major adversaries like Russia or China. <music> Yahoo US, the European Union continues to exert its antitrust authority over U.S. tech giants, recently targeting Microsoft and Apple with charges of violating EU competition laws. Microsoft was accused of illegally bundling its team's software with other business applications like Office 365, potentially abusing its dominant market position. This follows similar actions against Apple for App Store practices under the Digital Markets Act. The EU's aggressive stance on regulating big tech is part of broader efforts to enforce new laws on data privacy, social media content, and artificial intelligence. The EU's history of stringent business regulations, including blocking mergers and introducing environmental legislation, underscores its commitment to curbing the influence of powerful corporations. Yahoo US, misconceptions about the power of the US presidency abound, particularly regarding control over the economy, world events, and energy prices. Voters often attribute economic conditions directly to the president, but factors like fiscal stimulus, consumer behavior, and global market dynamics play significant roles. For instance, the job growth under President Biden is more a result of pandemic-era stimulus and a favorable business environment than direct presidential action. Similarly, international conflicts and energy prices are influenced by complex global factors beyond the president's control. The Federal Reserve, rather than the president, has a more direct impact on economic conditions through its monetary policies. CNN, Federal Reserve officials are signaling that interest rate cuts are unlikely this year, with some even suggesting the possibility of further rate hikes if inflation persists. Fed Governor Michelle Bowman and other key policymakers have expressed concerns about ongoing inflation risks and the need to maintain high rates to control it. Despite earlier projections of rate cuts, the Fed stance has shifted towards caution, emphasizing the importance of not reducing rates prematurely. This cautious approach has impacted investor sentiment, leading to significant market reactions. The upcoming release of the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index will provide further insights into inflation trends and the Fed's potential policy moves. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. 
To customize SixDo Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive SixDo Brief via email.